Hello, Flawless family. So I am doing a Flawless Formation Cut, which is a big chop for people that want a big change. So my cousin, aka client, wanted a big change for her. She's been growing her out for years, and now she has two beautiful boys and wants easy breezy hair. So she came in and showed me this angled bob that I'm performing right now. I am point cutting her ends so that it can stay soft and the line is not so harsh. And I am directing every section to that middle guide so that way it falls longer on the sides. And I am slithering, creating texture and making sure the ends stay tapered, almost like the shape of a light bulb. You don't want a triangle uh, bob which is weight so that's what I'm doing right now I'm just adding the texture and cutting into her new shape bringing everything to that middle section to ensure again the angled bob look and always 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 keep it a little longer initially that way you can always cut more instead of uh, devastating the client and cutting too much off so I always start a couple of inches longer than what they initially show me. And then I ask for a reference picture again and let them know, hey, we can go shorter or we can keep the same look a little longer and let them decide from there. So here she's showing me that she does actually want it shorter, at least two or three inches. So I am going back in and really aggressively tacking that length so she can have the length that she wants. So I am re-establishing my guide really quick so that I can continue with the haircut. Again, we took it up like two and a half more inches and I am just perfecting and point cutting the end so that it can be a soft line as we continue with the rest of the haircut. I am adding layers again as I go so that it can be more tapered on the ends and a lot more movement for her. Hope you guys enjoy watching the rest of the haircut.
So as I did on the right, I am coming to the left and doing the same thing, elevating her layers, point cutting at 90 degrees, keeping it soft, taking out that triangle so that when it drops, it is beautiful and tapered like a teardrop or light bulb, but the technical term is tapered. Bringing the hair from the sides all the way back to that guide so that way it ensures my length gets longer towards the front. You want to comb above the ear and lift it up so that you don't make it shorter in the front. And that would ruin the haircut. Saying hi to my coworker and her new baby bump. Catching up with coworkers are always fun. So I'm finishing up that left side so that she can uh, see the length in the front as well and we can adjust accordingly. Point cutting to keep those ends soft is always key, my favorite technique. So now I'm just kind of layering it, looking at how it falls, point cutting where I see any weight lines and adjusting the length to make it flawless. Now I am connecting the last section, which is the top crown section. I am angle cutting. This is a V cut technique where I'm going on each side and sliding my shears like a V formation. Again, making those ends tapered so that you don't see the layers. You never ever want to count layers. You always want them to either be layered or not. So again, I'm going in one side, you see me flip the hair to the other side, then I flip back to the other side, and I cut that length or bulk off to match with my guide. If you don't see your guide, drop the hair again until you find the guide. As you can see, I'm angling all the hair back towards me, but still lifting up at 90 degrees and taking it back towards me to keep the length in the front. You got this. Once I'm done with the layers, I just bring down the length and match it with my guideline. As you can see, the haircut is shaping out to be flawless. Now I'm going on to the other side. Again, balancing my cut, making sure it's even, but textured, which is why point cutting is great. Saying hi to my coworker's client and proceeding with the other side. Okay, now you see me again, extending all those layers to the back, middle, guide, getting rid of the bulk or the weight lines by point cutting. And you can see how it goes longer in the front. I even have uh, some little face framing layers in the front for her. I'm combing everything back to that guide and then I am making sure the guideline on the ends are even and soft. Now you see her length. I'm going around to the other side, making sure everything is cohesive, 
cross-checking, making sure I didn't leave any missing hairs, <clears throat> especially like behind the ear. Sometimes a strand of hair likes to hide there. I want to make sure you comb everything up and out. It's never too late to check, triple check, and double check. So look at all this hair I cut, you guys. We had a fun, fun transformation. This is the final result. Curled it, put some dry shampoo in there. She had to go again. She's a mother happy? too. Like the song? Yes, <laughs> she'll wash it at home. And there is your flawless angled bob, a formation cut. We cut about seven inches off, you guys. She loved it. And I loved it for her. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe. And let me know in the comments what more you like to see. Stay flawless, my friends.